Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another PS4 jailbreak tutorial. So we've been seeing some new Gold 10 plugins recently. We have, of course, the one for the GTA Online private server that is done through a Gold 10 plugin. And we also have recently got a new plugin for the YouTube application from Earth Onion. And this project integrates YouTube ad block and sponsor block for the YouTube application when you're watching your YouTube videos on the PS4. So if you use YouTube on your jailbroken PS4, then you can enable this to skip the ads and also the integrated sponsors and intros and outros will be skipped. So I guess maybe this part of the video you will not see. So I may be shooting myself in the foot a little bit with this video, but this is going to make life a lot easier for you guys who are using the YouTube application. So I want to show you how to set this up because this is actually one of the easiest things that you can set up and install for a jailbroken PS4 right now because it's also been turned into an installable package that can be downloaded from the homebrew store that can just install the plugin and set it up for you. And it is pretty damn handy. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. So if we switch over to my PS4, the first thing we need to do is get the YouTube application. So I'm going to run the homebrew store, obviously run the jailbreak, get gold hen running, and then load up the homebrew store on your PS4. Now, if you don't have the homebrew store, I cover how to install it in my main jailbreak tutorial guides. Any of those videos will show you how to get the homebrew store set up and installed. If you cannot get the homebrew store, you can, of course, download the applications with the web-based version of the homebrew store on your computer at pkg-zone.com. In there, you can find the YouTube application as well as the sponsor block application. You can download those packages, copy them to a USB drive, and just install them with the debug settings package installer. That is the other option. But anyway, if you can use the app on the console itself, it's a lot quicker. So we can just go ahead and select the YouTube application that we can see right here. So we press X on that and X to download and install. So with the YouTube application downloading, make sure it is the normal YouTube application and not the YouTube TV application, which has a different title ID. We want the version CUSA 01015, as it says there, ready to use. So if we press circle and then go back to the store apps section and scroll up to the top page, page 12 of 12, we can see we have the sponsor block in here, YTSB 42069. If we select that and download and install, and that will get that version installed as well so that we can install the sponsor block utility. So once that is completed, we can go ahead and press the options button to close out of the homebrew store. So before we install the sponsor block, we'll see how YouTube operates normally. So if we just open up the YouTube application, make sure that that is working as it should. Even if you have a DNS blocker to block Sony servers, it should still work. So we're gonna go ahead and watch as guest and I'll skip over to my YouTube channel because I won't get any copyright issues if I just load a video from my own channel. So I'll go ahead and select a video here, Blu-ray jailbreak all in one. And as you can see, we immediately get an ad. Luckily, this one is skippable within five seconds, but sometimes they're not skippable. Sometimes it might show two or three ads at once. So yeah, YouTube is getting a bit crazy with the ads recently. So that is your normal YouTube experience when using the YouTube application. But now if we go ahead and install the sponsor block, so we'll run the application and give it a few seconds and it will come up saying, do you want to install the YouTube ad block and sponsor block? We'll say yes. And then it installs it only takes a couple of seconds and there it is YouTube ad block and sponsor block has been installed click OK to exit. Now this will not override your current plugin configuration it will just add the sponsor block and ad block to your existing plugin config so you won't have to worry about it erasing any of your current plugin setup. So once that's done we can click OK and that will close out of this application. So now you can either delete this application or keep it around. I'd recommend keeping it around because you can always run it again to get the latest version whenever there's a new update that improves the ad blocking or if the YouTube backend gets updated that prevents this from working properly, there might be a new update that you can install by running this application to get it working again. So it's a good idea to just keep this application installed on your PS4. But anyway, now that we have that installed, all we need to do is activate the plugin by heading into the gold hen settings and going to the plugin settings and making sure the enable plugins loader is ticked. And once you have that enabled, we can then load the YouTube application again. And this time it should now have the plugin applied. So you'll know the plugin is working because you'll get the sponsor block enabled message saying sponsored segments will be skipped. So if I head back to my channel again and load another one of my videos, we'll choose a different video this time. So we'll use the Linux video and play that. And you can see that a ad does appear for a split second, but then it is automatically skipped. So we can see that that is working. Now it hasn't tried to skip 
the intro. Sometimes it skips my intros with the previous version. So maybe it's been updated so it's no longer skipping my intros as often. But I'll show you a clip of the previous version where it did try and skip one of my intros there. Sponsor block three segments found. And you can see it tells you how many seconds of that segment of the video was skipped. So it skipped part of the intro. So that is also working too. So yeah, you've got ad block and sponsor block built in here. It makes using YouTube a much more enjoyable experience. However, if this installer stops working in the future or you're not able to find it, you can install the plugin manually, which is a little bit more complicated, but it is another option if you're not able to use that installable package. So all you need to do is head into the gold hand settings, go to the server settings and enable the FTP server and note down the IP address and port number that show up in that notification. Then go to the releases page on the repo and download the YouTube adblock PRX file for the latest version. Then if you head back to the readme, you can also copy the code for the plugins.ini file. Just copy it there from the readme to your clipboard. Then we can open up an FTP client on our computer like FileZilla or WinSCP. Enter the IP address of the PS4 in the host box and then enter 2121 as the port number and quick connect. Now you need to use an FTP client for this because PS4 Explorer does not give the correct file permissions when copying the plugins which will stop them from loading properly. So make sure you use an FTP client and not the homebrew application PS4 Explorer. So what we're going to do is head into the data folder on the hard drive and then go into the gold hen folder. And this is where you put your plugins configuration file and your plugins. So if you already have a plugins folder, you can copy the plugin inside. If you don't already have a plugins folder in the gold hen folder, you can create one by right clicking and creating a new directory. Call it plugins, all lowercase, and then click OK. And then simply drag and drop the PRX file for the plugin inside the plugins folder. And that's how you get the plugin installed. But we do need to also add the configuration file, the plugins.ini file. If you don't already have a plugins.ini file, you can create one by opening up a blank notepad document and pasting in the code that we copied from the readme for the plugins file. So we'll paste that in and then go to file, save as, and save the file as plugins.ini in lowercase characters. And make sure you change the save as type from text document to all files must be saved as all files so it has the correct file extension and then that is how you get that file created and then you can just copy that file over to the gold hen folder. Now if you already have a plugins.ini file in the gold hen folder in that case you just want to edit the existing file by dragging it out to your computer and then opening it up in notepad and then you can see I already have a existing plugin in here so I would just add the YouTube plugin to the end of the file so just add your plugin to the end of the existing file and then save it. And then once you have the file saved, you can then drag and drop the plugins.ini file back over to the gold hen folder and override the existing one that's in there. Much easier to use the installable version, but if there's any issues with that version in the future, then that is how you can install it manually to get the plugin installed. That's the easy way and the hard way, I guess, to get the plugin set up here for YouTube ad blocking and sponsor blocking. So anyway, just a quick video there. So hope you guys enjoyed this one or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.